I bought a new radio. It's about the size of a, a packet of batteries and uh, I'm going to be using it up on the hill. So uh, we'll get straight to it. Today, the QRP Labs QDX, little QRP Digimode receiver uh, that will play, pretty much let you run any Digimode that's available on uh, WSJTX. So I'm going to show you how to set it up on FT8. Um, and I've got an antenna up, which is an end fed half wave, and that's about five or six meters up my carbon fiber pole. Right, let's try some QRP data modes. The radio. That's a QRP Labs QDX, which is a Digimodes transceiver with a built in sound card, and it does 80, 40, 30, and 20. As a watch out, you must use a resonant antenna. So I've got my end fed half wave here, which will do two of those bands, 40 and 20. And now I flicked it onto 30 watts to see what it was about, and I would have blown the little radio up. Next to that is a Raspberry Pi. Here I have an Android tablet and my phone. My phone is uh, forwarding a GPS. Uh, my phone is forwarding its GPS data to the Raspberry Pi so that we can get accurate time because as we all know FT8 needs accurate time. Um, because at the moment I've just booted the Pi up and it says it's the 14th of February 2019. So that'll sort itself out in a minute. Uh, we have a Raspberry Pi running a standard Raspberry operating system but what it's got on top of it is KM4ACK's excellent little uh, ham radio package where you can pick and choose what apps you want and just load them on top of the Raspberry Pi operating system. So things that I have got in here is WSJTX and I've got this uh, GPS update tool which allows me to uh, stream GPS data from my phone to the Raspberry Pi. And I've also got his uh, HF, his, uh, sorry, his hotspot tool, which is very handy because the uh, Raspberry Pi is running a virtual hotspot and that's how the uh, tablet is connected to it. Oh, there's one other thing I need to do. I need to tell WSJTX what grid, grid, what grid square I'm in. My mouth is frozen. Now, as for logging, well, WSJTX creates a log and you can go home and pull the ADI log off of there and upload it. Or because I use um, VK Portal Log, I'll just continue to use this and add it to my existing log, and then that's just one log I've got to upload when I get home. So now I can enjoy some 20 meters FT8 QRP whilst having some soup. And straight in, we've got PD7LJ. I knew if I sat here long enough, I'd see something. Now, the good thing about this little setup is this can run on 12 volts. So I use my spare battery from my KX2. I always have a battery in the KX2 and a second one. This has got a little board underneath it, which has got two 18650 cells in it. So it's basically got its own power supply. That one is running off of three 18650 cells. You can salvage these out of laptops, but I've never had a laptop, so I bought new ones, but they're, they're good batteries. My eyesight's not the ones where it was, but I have managed it on a phone before when I forgot my tablet. Um, it's handy on the tablet because you could put a uh, portrait and then you just keep the, uh, the keyboard there all the time. And you can ju just use the mouse to, uh, to move the screen around or to click on the, the bar graph. Um, just tapping on there with the mouse will change my little frequency I'm on. Right, I'm heading down all packed up. Last time I was up this mountain, I left this and I had to come back for it the next day. I'm not making that mistake again. See you on the next one. 7-3.